More graphics just to remind you because, yes, we had 14 and a half inches of snow in Boston last year. But today, oh, different story. Sunshine temperature is getting into the 40s. So we've got milder air, but the city, boy, just outside of the city, in fact, there were some places that picked up 18 to 24 inches. Methuen, 28.3 inches of snow last year. Worcester, 21 inches of snow. And Providence down around 12.3. So it was a big snowstorm. We had blizzard conditions. We had blizzard warnings up across the region. And guess what? There are blizzard warnings out there now for seven states as a massive storm is going to hit the plains. We've got high wind warnings, flood watches, and the threat of some severe weather. In fact, there's over 5 million people in the area where we could see a slight to enhance risk of severe storms with damaging wind, hail, even tornadoes as we go through the day today. All part of this storm system that we're going to be watching closely because as it moves eastward, it will bring us the chance of some showers for Friday. But it does look as though it will be a little bit weaker. So that is the good news. But for right now, in the plains, they're going to get hit hard with this storm system. High pressure in control, scooting to the south. We've got this disturbance to the north. That may actually bring us, well, not just the clouds this evening, but perhaps a passing shower. Again, it too will weaken. Once it comes on through later on this evening and tonight, the clouds break apart. Sunshine returns for tomorrow. And notice the winds out of the south. It's going to be milder tomorrow than it is today. And that warm up will continue you all the way through Friday ahead of this front. Look what happens to the moisture though. It becomes more limited as it pushes into New England. Can't rule out a few showers through the morning, midday, and some of those showers may get a little enhanced by Friday evening. Wouldn't even be surprised to hear a rumble of thunder, but not looking for the threat of severe weather. The good news is that front does pass through and we begin to dry out for the weekend. So overall, not too bad out there right now. The clouds will be increasing. Temperatures in the 30s, 40 in some spots, and as we we go through the afternoon, we'll be climbing to near, if not above average, low to middle 40s. And then tonight, again, watching for that passing shower, temperatures back into the 30s, could once again see some areas below freezing. So watch for some patchy black ice from any snow melt from the day today. And come tomorrow, with winds out of the south, we're going to boost into the 50s. Now, that also means with that wind over the water, it may be just a little bit cooler for the Cape and Islands. So we'll go mid to upper 40s for you. Low to middle 50s, though, as you head through the interior. So we've got this warm up on the way, this ridge of high pressure that's going to be building across the eastern seaboard. As we go into next week, unfortunately, it looks as though it may dip down a trough, and that means cooler air will spill back into the region. So as we go through the weekend, temperatures will begin to fall back a little bit and into early next week, could even fall back below normal. So something we'll be monitoring. But right now, that weekend looks pretty good. Temperatures will be in the 50s for your. Saturday with a mix of sunny clouds, bright sunshine for your Sunday, lower 40s. And right now, as we are watching a system for Monday, looks to be to our south. We'll have to watch for the midweek time frame for any possible rain snow chances.